Oh, 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 yeah, I like to tell jokes. I, I, I can tell you this one now. The, the three Boy Scouts went to their uh, leader and said, we did a good deed today. And he said, what'd you do? We helped an old lady across the street. He said, how come it took three of you? She didn't want to go. <laughs> Rudy Aitama, 96. I had uh, 11 sisters and brothers, and we all were the most happy family. And then my life changed after I got drafted in 1943. We drove right to Germany to the Siegfried Line, the first ones in the Battle of the Bulge. We had just started on December 16th at six o'clock in the morning. Then the second day, a big shell fell by me and, and ripped the back of my uh, thigh off. And so, and next thing you know, then I got captured. And I was put uh, in, in a spot where my buddy was on my left, and he was shot right through the Adam's apple. And every breath was just spurt of blood, spurt of blood. So, and on my right was a German soldier. He was riddled with the bullets, and he was crying for a cigarette. So I lit a cigarette, put it in his mouth, and I think he expired. So I just kept marching, marching, marching. Four days I marched. And then we finally reached this uh, prison camp. And my leg is just, just wide open. We did, the camp was too, too many soldiers overloaded. So they put us in the barn again. But it happened to be Christmas Eve. And so all of a sudden, one voice, another voice, and another voice, the entire barn was singing Silent Night, Holy Night. Every nationality just singing away. So that fueled us up again. And then all of a sudden, one day, the Russians advanced from the east. A Lieslin jeep travels up to the artillery lines where Soviet gunners are hammering at the German positions. And in the morning, we were free as a bird. The Russians had taken that town during the night. They bombed the heck out of it. And we woke up and we could go outside. We were, there were no, no Germans around anymore. The Russians took us in the grove, a big grove, and they had tables set there with white tablecloth. Now this is like a dream, and people might think that I was dreaming, but it wasn't, it was real. And there was the Russian girls who were waiting on the tables, and they brought a big pot of stew to each one of us. And that was the first food we had for five months. And from then on, uh, we were in American hands. Well, I'll tell you about the most perfect uh, gal in the world. Some way I got a little picture of her. I put it in my wallet, and that picture went through all through with, with me in the Battle of the Bulge. She was always with me, and we corresponded for three years. We never, never had a date. She saved every, look at that. She saved everyone. Wow, that's isn't, that, isn't that fabulous? And then, when I got discharged, made my way to go to Detroit and meet her. And from then on, it was roses. <laughs> it's just a normal thing for me to be happy. I don't know. I guess, I guess, I guess all the memories are so good. You know, I can't help it. Uh, you know, I go to bed at night and, and uh, gee, I just think of all the things that. I went through in, uh, in my, my 96 years. You've had a good life? Did I, a good life? Yeah. Holy smoke, look at, look at, I'm here. What a wonderful life, holy God.